everyone this is Mang Sang Bhi and I am back with another Kaunas Report Studio video and in this video we are going to learn about iframes. So before starting first discuss the scenario and in this scenario user want multiple reports inside a single report. Now how I am going to achieve this? We are going to achieve this using iframe. Okay, so this is my one report or main report or dashboard report and in this we are displaying multiple reports. So this is my one report and below this I am displaying another two reports. Okay, and whenever a user going to change this, this then only my first report is going to be refreshed. Rest of the report is displaying as it is. Now how we are going to achieve this? We are going to achieve this using iframe, HTML, JavaScript. We are not going to use any component of Cognos Report Studio or Cognos component. We are going to use HTML components, HTML and JavaScript. So let's start. And before start, I want to show you that I created three reports. This is my first report in which I am going to display product related information. And this is my another report. And in this I am displaying region revenue related information. And finally, I have a report container or my third report in which I am displaying multiple reports. In my demo, I'll show you three reports, but actually they are two. We are just repeating one report again. So it just look like that we are using three reports. Okay. You can use this concept with multiple reports. So let's start. And first I want to create a blank report. So let me quickly click on file and new. And I want to create a blank report. And inside this, let me first quickly add a header. So I want to select this and finally I'm going to create a header and let's say I want to add a title for this. So let me quickly drag and drop a text item. Let's say our dash board and I'm going to align this little. I want to change its size. I'm going to 18 foot bold. Okay, so it is already bold and I want to assign a background color silver and now in our main report I am going to add to a table insert table and inside I am going to use one column and two rows. Okay. Now in my first row I am going to add a select box which give user a flexibility to change the report. Based on the selection in the select box, users are able to see the different reports. Okay. And for this, I'm going to use a HTML item. Using HTML item, I'm going to create a select box. Okay. So this is my HTML item. Inside this, I'm going to type select, select. And as I already mentioned, we are not going to use any Cognos components or Cognos report should be component. We are going to use pure HTML. And I want to use option option and i'm going to name it let's say my product product report and in the second option i want to let's say revenue report revenue report that's it and finally uh, i'm going to assign a unique id for this id and let's say this is my select box okay so let's see the output first i'm going to run my report and this is ibm cognos VAR and this is our output and now we are going to assign a function on this select box whenever a value in this select box is going to be changed we are going to display the report based on the selection so let me close the report viewer and i'm going to add another html item i want to add my html item at the bottom of this page so let me go up, drag and drop another HTML term. Inside this, I'm going to add a script. We are going to use JavaScript function, script, script. And inside this, I'm going to do a function, change report, change report. And just for testing purpose, I want to display a alert box. So this is my alert and click on OK. Let me quickly copy this function because I need to paste the same in my select box. 
so this is my select box and I am going to give of on change event on change event I want to call this function let's see the output of this I am going to change this and I am able to see a pop-up now the next thing I want to add a iframe for this I am going to again use a HTML item so this is my HTML item and whenever user going to change anything inside my select box I am going to change the content in my iframe okay now what is iframe iframe is used to display the contents from another URL and our Cognos connection is a web based portal so everything is going to be displayed based on the URL so whenever I want to display a report one I am going to provide a URL of report one whenever I am going uh, whenever user select report two then I need to provide the URL of report two so based on the URL the iframe is going to be generated the report so I am going to open this HTML item iframe iframe uh, iframe sorry for spelling mistake iframe this is the end tag first I am going to assign a ID for this so this is my ID and I am going to give it my report container okay and finally I want to assign a source for this and the default value for this is my report product report okay why product report because my first option is product report okay. so I want the URL for product report I want to paste the URL for report 1 and this is the URL for report 1 how to find the URL for your report let me show you first uh, let me copy the URL here click on ok and how to find the URL for your report for this you need to open Cognos connection uh, my Cognos connection is not opened so let me open a new instance of Firefox I want to open public folder IBM connection this is the URL for my two reports and let's say I want to find the uh, URL for brief book so for this I am going to click on more and inside more I am going to click on set properties and if you are able to see view the search path ID and URL I am going to click on this and in the new pop-up uh, you can see the select path you can see the ID and I want to use this URL okay so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here so finally we got the URL for our report and we are going to use the same inside our iframe okay now the next thing go back to your report studio no 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 yes go back to your report studio and start working on your iframe now let's see the output of this we already provided the URL for our report one so let's run our report first so this is our report one is generated successfully and right now you are not able to see its content properly for this let me modify my iframe a little bit so for this I am going to for this again open report studio inside this open this HTML item and I am going to add a style tag so let me go here just here and now I want to display style and what I want to display I want to display okay I want to control the width and height I'm going to provide a width 100% and height H E I G H T height again 100% and right now style width 100% height 100% okay and I'm going to resize my column of this table I want to go inside properties inside properties I want to change its size and overflow okay. click on this ellipse button and height for this for the time being let's say it's 400 pixel click on ok to save the changes and I'm going to align the content for this a little bit now next thing 
let's see the changes now i am able to see my report one so now it is better the next thing i want to add my javascript i want to modify my javascript function so whenever you are going to select revenue report then i am able to see the revenue report here currently we are seeing a alert box now again open your report studio and our javascript function is available just here so double click to open your javascript function and now i want i don't want this alert box anymore i want to change the iframe report based on the user selection so let let's first get the selected item from your select box and your select box id is this so i'm going to copy this and inside this i'm going to store my select box object inside a variable so this is my select box document document dot get element by id inside this i am going to provide my select box id and finally i want to get the selected selected value so let's say selected value is equals to and let's see the selected value control c alert that's it okay now i'm going to rerun my report change your selection in the select box and right now my selected report is revenue report this is revenue report and revenue report again select it product report and product report okay go back in report studio and now based on the selection i want to display my report so let me quickly select this option because i want this values now whenever my selected value is this if selected value equals to product report then i want to display my report one else i want to display my report two okay now how to change the source url for your iframe for this you need to get your iframe object and our iframe object is here and the id for iframe object is here so i'm going to copy the id for iframe and inside my javascript function i'm going to create a object which is or variable which is going to store my iframe object and i'm going to let's say my report container and i'm going to get my object using document dot get element by id and your iframe id now my iframe is available inside this and finally i am going to change its source property so this is the place where we are going to provide the url of our report this is my iframe and this is our source property so for first selection we need to display this okay and for second selection i want to display this so this is my report 1 and this is report 2 so let me quickly copy this i hope i not messed with the urls control c to copy and this is my second report let's see the new changes in report viewer so right now my product report is selected and report 1 is displayed and whenever i am going to select revenue report i am able to see report 2 now just for your understanding i am going to add three more iframes just below this 
for this i'm going to open report studio i'm going to add another row just below this row one row and inside this i'm going to add another table insert table and i'm going to create three columns so this is column one column two and column three and for the time being i'm going to change its size and overflow a little bit or why not change this size so i'm able to see everything in a single page without scrolling okay and for this i'm going to change its width let's say 30 percent or 33 percent height is equals to 200 apply okay let me select multiple items this time and size overflow again 33 percent and height is 200 pixel apply okay and i'm going to copy this control c control v to paste control v to paste and control v to paste inside this i'm going to show report one assuming this not not the actual report or this is a different report assume this is a different report okay and this is my report two so i'm going to change the url for this Paste it here. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Uh, and last thing, I want to change its width and height. Okay. It is fine. I want to change source width and height. This is fine and finally inside this i am going to display this another third report select this and change the url okay save your report and finally we are ready to run our report So our report is generated successfully and assuming this report 1 and report 2 is a different report right now i am displaying 4 reports in my single report using this select box I, I can change the report here so this is my second report and this is not going to be impact any performance or any performance related issue because only this part of your report is refreshing rest of the report is not refresh okay because we are using iframe we are going to change only the content of iframe so all this report is not going to be reload again whenever you are going to change this only this part is going to be refreshed i hope you are able to understand everything i shown in this video if you have any doubt just leave it in comment section i will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolution so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe like button share it to your friend and see you all in next video